to this interview uh, <laughs> at, at the, at, in a few minutes I'm going to be talking to one of the greatest drummers that did it uh, Pocket Power when I tell you Pocket this man had Pocket and I tell you he'll just he'll keep it in the pocket and just look at you and just let you know that you in trouble I tell you I tell you I mean and I mean it we used to have some Good time. Uh, let me make sure I got. Uh, yes, everything is in place. So, so we not gonna hold it no longer. Are we gonna introduce to you, uh, to introduce to some, and introduce our brother, David yes, Pocket Tally. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, man. Hey, can you hear me? Okay. Oh yeah, I can hear you. Great. I can hear all you. All right, man. all right. I'm doing well, man. How you doing? Man, let me tell you something. I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be on here with you. I enjoy doing these interviews. And I tell you, it, I, 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 uh, it's a different story every week. And we just love to bring this to the people, man. I tell you. Right, right, right. I tell you, I enjoy watching them too, man, to hear some histories from the other guys and the things that they did. Uh, you know, like I said, we me and you travel together a lot, so I, I know some of your history, but not all of it. But I know, you know, you pocket power and you started this and you're doing a wonderful job. But hey, you used to work on them drums and look at me on side of the stage. I said, Hey, you can't paint it to the wrong person. I know you, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> you were campaigning to me. I said, Hey, you got I know how tough you are, how good you are. Campaign to the ones that don't know you. <laughs> Yeah, those were the days, bro. Those were the good yeah, days, man. Those were the days. I tell you, we did we did an interview on you, but uh, we had some technical difficulties, so that's why we brought you back. And we wanted right. you to 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 those people that missed it, and then you know we wanted them to be able to uh, get your story. And we're gonna do this all over again, young man. We're gonna start from the beginning, and we want you to start from the beginning and just let the people know your story. How did David Talley get started? Well, man, hey, we, we had a family group, man, called the Mighty Voices out of Longview, Texas. You know, my dad was a, a, a keynote. He's one of the original gospel keynotes, man. And uh, they had a group, man, and I used to cry all the time because I wanted to go with them, you know. Hey, can I go? You know, back then I was a little short thing, you know, tall now. But one, uh, one weekend... I cried so hard, they said, come on, you know, so they was going to do a 45, man, mm -hmm. and my cousin was the drummer, but he didn't go, mm -hmm. and they got there, and uh, 
the the guy said, y'all have a drummer? And my dad said, yes. And my brother and said, who? <laughs> he pointed at me when I was three years old. Never Whoa. picked up a pair of sticks, man. This is a true story. <laughs> wow. And I uh, had stopped and uh, I had a uh, this burger place called What a Burger, man. I mean, one of the best burgers you can get out of Florida, Alabama, Texas, and all that, man. The burger was bigger than me. So when my dad <laughs> told me to come on and play, <laughs> Hey, man, I, I didn't even mean it. I laid it down and went in there, man. They put the headphones on me. My brother and them said, Dad, I know you're not doing this. He said, yes, I am. So, wow. hey, man, it struck out. Hey, it was all history. I went to playing, and the, the guy said, hey, this little kid is awesome. You know, and I was like, wow. So I started traveling with him, you know, ever since. And that's, that's how I got started, man. Wow. That's how I got started. Wow. And as as you was growing up and, you know, your father was originally Kino, and did you ever play with a local group there? Uh, did you, uh, did you, uh, did you, like, did you ever play with a local group or you just went straight pro? It went to just straight playing, man. It was so funny. Like I said, we was, we was, I was about four at the time. We was in Shreveport, Louisiana, man, and it's, guy they call him king john man he would wear a cape like slim he wanted to be like slim and i mean the church was packed man and i started with a snare and a cymbal you know i played in the mm -hmm. studio with a whole set but i had a snare and a cymbal and man they started you know a drive got to plan the drive so that guy named king john he walked up and said hey baby he said you can play them drums and he laid twenty dollars down inside the drums right <laughs> <laughs> and man, all the people got up out the audience, started coming up there, laying money down beside me. Wow. And I mean, they brother them was getting it. Hey, I stopped playing and started picking up the money. <laughs> my brother said, "Hey, uh -uh. I said, hey man, y'all keep doing. I'll catch up in a minute, man. Hey, I'm picking up the twenties, man. I ain't thinking about no drive, you know. I'm thinking about, hey, when I get out of this concert, I can get me some candy, you know, <laughs> a bunch of it. So, hey man, we 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 go back and think about those times, man, but." That's how the Lord blessed me of playing drums, man. It was so funny, you know, and they were wow. hard down getting it without a drummer because I'm picking up the money. They had a line, man, folks bringing me money up there, bro. So ain't no playing drums right now until I pick up all this here. You I know? feel you, man. <laughs> I feel you. That, that, but that's wow. how I got started, man, and, and, and with my dad now, man, and, and that's where it all began. Wow, wow, wow. When you, uh, when you talk about your brothers, all of y'all are talented. All of y'all are talented. I mean, everybody on each instrument. It's almost like, you know, how the Jacksons was. Right, uh, right. You know, family group. Uh, and y'all still tight. How do y'all How do y'all keep that bond? And we're going to get into well, what, what, where we at now, but we want to just get back into when y'all was growing up, you know? Well, man, hey, we always been a tight family, man. It, it's eight of us, five boys and three girls. We always been close. You know, my mom, my mom brought us up to be that way, close and be nice to other people. So the thing about it, man, they, they, they took me under their wings and took care of me, you know. And that's the thing about it. Um, you know, everyone, we might, you know, argue a little bit, but, you know, that's the far it's going to go, fussing a little bit. But, hey, that's brotherly love, you know. Amen. So the thing Amen. I like about it when if I've done something wrong, you know, we don't get an attitude because they told me, hey, man, you know, that was wrong or whatever. It's just the love that we have for each other, man. And like when my, even when my mom passed, man, it brought us even closer. So, you know, the thing about it, people was asking, you know, about how could we do what we done at my mom's funeral? But that's that was her wishes, you know, for us to sing and my brother, baby brother to talk and my sister to sing, you know. We wanted to send her to heaven the right way, man. You know, so that's that's how we became close in music. And and the thing about it, man, when I got with the Kinos, man, they were very, very supportive of me going. You know, they know how to, hey, man, you're leaving us or nothing. You know, they pushed me on out there and say, hey, man, go ahead. You know, hmm. go ahead and, 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 and live your dream. You know, and so that's what I love about them right today, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they supported me and living my dream, you know. Wow. That's that, you know, that's. That's a, a a great thing to hear because, you know, in the future, we, we'll talk about the future in a minute. Now, speaking of the keynotes, when you arrived with the keynotes, uh, 
when you arrived with the keynotes, you you changed. You, I'm not saying you changed their style, but it was like it was a difference when you was behind the when you was behind the drums. And when I say that, I heard Balt play uh, uh, on the uh, Jackson live in Jackson. Right. Uh, I heard him play live in Jackson, but it's like when you came along, you had your own style, and you 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 gave them uh, some more charisma. And I, I can say that because I, I was there to hear it. And, uh, well, I, you know, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, you know, Balt, Balt was awesome, man. He's a great guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I talk to him all the time. You know, uh, we kind of stay in touch. But uh, it was funny, man, when I, I used to see Willie when I was younger. That's when I was in high school, even when I went off to college. I would always ask him, hey, you got my contract ready? You know, <laughs> never in my wildest dream thinking I would be a Keno. Mm -hmm. You know, so... I had just had surgery about three, four days before they came to Longview. Uh, they was at Bishop Noah Jones Church. You know, we were very close with Bishop Noah Jones. Uh, we used to play basketball together and all of that. So he asked me, did I want to play for him that night? You know, and I said, yes, sir. I said, I can't lift anything. I just had surgery. So we got him, you know, they got him out. And from there on, man, that's how I end up being with the the Keno, so Willie joked with me, said, you finally got your contract, huh? I said, yes, <laughs> you know, I finally got my contract. So that that's what was so funny about it. You know, I used to joke with him, but never thinking I would become a Keno, you know. And, you know, that was my dream to play for him. But, you know, never in a million years thought I would be the drummer for the Keno. Amen. And I tell you, man, so as I uh, researched today and I looked at, some of the uh cds and albums that you made uh with them uh could you just let the people know uh which albums and cds you was on oh man uh my first one was i'm yours lord no that uh my first one was going back with the lord mm -hmm. that's the first one mm -hmm. then the second one was i'm yours lord and then the other one was from the heart so I had fun doing all of those, man, because, you know, learning, uh, had other drummers that come in, play some songs, and I played some, like Ferris Evans, you know, Maurice Sorrell, you know, those are the guys that came in and played on it also, man. So it was really exciting, you know, to, to meet those guys, and they teaching you some stuff and learning because, hey, I always had my notepad open to learn from any and everybody. You know, mm -hmm. uh, whether they was local or not, because, you know, we all had to start somewhere, whether it was local or professional or whatever. We all had to exactly. start somewhere. So right today, you know, I, I mean, I just looked up to those guys and, and, and learned from them, you know. So uh, when I brought what I had to the keynotes, it was me trying to bring my own style. You know, mm -hmm. not saying there was anything wrong with what Ricky done, but, you know, I took – Maybe a few things that he done and added to what I knew, you know. So mm -hmm. that was the, the exciting stuff about being in the studio. Uh, I did, when I left the keynotes, I did uh, um, Help Me To Be Strong album. I did that whole project down in Muscle Shows, you know, where the Temptations and all of them recorded that. But I did that whole project, Help Me To Be Strong. The songs like You Can Depend On Me, Trust In Me, uh, uh, Thank You For Your Son. All of those songs, that's, that's me on that project. Okay. Amen. Yeah. I tell you, you mentioned a drummer, uh, Maurice Surreal. Uh, I had an opportunity to talk to him as well. And he was one of the guys that I looked up as well. And I don't know if you knew, he he got his own sticks, man. He <laughs> sent me some. <laughs> yeah. He hey, said, hey, man, he was in Huntsville here. And I was out of town. A guy, I had a local group that we sung with here called uh, Chosen. And he had his sticks out. He said he went over there and joked with him. Say, hey man, you ain't got nothing on there with David Talley name on there. <laughs> <laughs> and I called Maurice. I said, Maurice, I need some of those sticks. So now I'm really <laughs> finna get upset. You got a pair before me, and I knew he had them out before you. <laughs> oh so, yeah, hey, they, I, I was they, that was wrong. <laughs> they go right in. They go right in my little museum. My little museum. I hey keep man, stuff. I'm gonna okay. have to give a call, man, to tell him I'm upset, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> that I knew he had them before you did, and you got yep. them before I did. <laughs> exactly. I told I yeah. told him to send me a few pairs, man. I tell you, you know, yeah. anybody that, 
you know, that, you know, we came up with just like that, like you said, it was that brotherly love. It was like we looked out for each other. And, um, right, you know, right. and we, ch you know, and, and when each person went on stage, you know, even though we joke around, but we was rooting for each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it was yeah. like a family, man. It was like yeah, a family. I mean, like I said, when, when you first met me, you know, mm -hmm. it was Sam them had to tell you, hey, man, David Talley's down to earth because I think you need to borrow my sticks, foot pedal, snare or something. I say, hey, man, anything I, I got, you're welcome to it. Yeah, you I know. was green. I was green. I was green. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said, Ron, I don't look that mean, do it, you know? And, and, you know, that's how we looked out for each other, man. If something had broke on something, man, we were right there to, you know, to help. Like, if your foot pedal broke, hey, we rushing to go get your foot pedal real quick. Exactly. You know? So that, exactly. that's how tight we was out there on that road, man, mm -hmm. you know? And right today, I, I, I just thank God that we're still in touch with each other right today, man. That that's Amen. a great feeling, bro. It really is. Amen. And and right. that's what the that's what the internet do. And and just like, you know, I, I keep saying, you know, with, with Snake Showtime Green, we talk right every other day. Um um Marie Surreals, uh right. uh uh Mark Davis, uh right. you know, some of the people that I keep in touch with. And uh I tell you, man, it's at it's when I started this, when God gave it to me, you know, I I didn't know how it was going to go. You know, I right. just start, you know, inbox some people. Hey, say, hey, let me interview you. You know, we got right. this new talk show called Drama Talk Pocket Power. And, uh, you know, we went way back. Let me interview you. And it started just like that. And well, now, man. man God give you a vision, man. It, it means you're supposed to step out on faith and do it. And I'm glad you've done that, man. And like I said, I started seeing people I hadn't seen in years, man. So mm -hmm. that's, that was a blessing for you to go ahead and do that, man. And like I said, we, we appreciate you and thank you for doing it, bro. Yeah, man. It's and it, like, you know, you get different stories. You know, people saying it's therapy. It's like, we need this. We need to talk. You right. know, and I'm like I say, I'm happy to do this. Right, uh, right. So uh, when it comes, uh, we going, you know, going into the uh, uh, early years of the keynotes and knowing that, you know, when when Willie Neil Johnson come to town, I mean, it was like you didn't have to worry about a pack house back in the day, right? With right. any of us. You know, right. one group, one group can go to a place that hold a thousand people and fill it to the rim. Right. And I have seen that, you know, I have right. seen that, you know, with my group, with your group, with the clouds, you know, with the swanning, right. you know, mm -hmm. slam, slam. Those days it was different. And I seen something earlier on Facebook is how can we get back to that? So I'm going to ask you that question for them. <laughs> they want to know how can they get back to that well man I, I'm going to tell you I, I saw someone on um, doing a podcast not too long ago I, you know working together I don't know individually you might not can do it now I'm not saying it can't be done you know because God can bless anybody to do that again but like mm -hmm. we was packing our places during the weekdays also Right, People right. don't realize we was on the road 320 days out a year, sometimes more than that. So weeknights and weekends, man, I mean, we did week weekdays, man, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. When I first got with the keynotes, I did 30 days straight. Woo! It's supposed to have been 31. We had one show to get counseled, but we did 30 days straight when I first got with them. And man, you're talking about somebody was exhausted. You Look, know, I, I'm not used to it, but <laughs> the way we can pack our houses today, man, is groups coming together, you know. Let get these groups to come together and, and you know, with the pandemic, it, it kind of shook things up. So, you know, you're still gonna have people kind of hesitant of coming out, but like I said, we was in Dallas this past weekend, a nice turnout. You know, I was kind of mm -hmm. shocked, but we had a great turnout. So it's just working together, man, you can start bringing these you know, getting people to come back out, you know, and just, just pray and ask God to kind of clear their mind of this pandemic and everything and come back out and enjoy some gospel singing, you know. And, you know, when you when you get hot and everything, just grab some of these groups and tell them, hey, come on, we're doing good over here. Come mm -hmm. on, you know. Mm -hmm. And every group can 
add some people to whatever package there is. You know, mm -hmm. you have some say they're not drawing, but everybody gonna draw a few people. You know, so mm -hmm. just working together will probably pack these places back out, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, but like I said in the early '80s, man, it was then was the good old days. You know, we didn't have to worry about if it was gonna be packed. We get there, people are already standing at the door before it opened. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I've oh, seen. I can remember that. I can remember yeah, that. Yeah, I, I've the seen. Line. We sold. We sold out of CDs before the program started. They was out mm -hmm. there at the bus and bought all the CDs. You know, mm -hmm. well back then it was albums, but they they bought them all. Yep. We had to call and have some more flow on in. So mm -hmm. those was the days then, man. You know, and I was like, wow, and it, it just it was amazing to see that mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so if we can just get everybody to work together you'll pack out some more places again man you know right because like you say each group can draw a certain amount of people from yeah. this area this area this area yeah right. i agree with that i agree yeah. with that yeah and i tell you man um so i'm um i wanted to to uh uh get into uh uh, the, okay, it was Willie Neal Johnson, Keno's there. Your brothers came with you, right? And, and when your brothers came with you, I tell you, ominous. Uh, your your brothers and yourself, man. Y'all have the spirit, bro. Where it's it's a humble, humble spirit. And when I say that, is that you know you know how to treat people. And that goes a long way. And just like you say, y'all was in Texas this week. I saw the video on that. And I tell you, man, I, you know, I, I'm looking at you now at a lead singer, man. It is Woo. awesome. Man, let me tell you something. My brother, KT, and you have a, you know, I can't swim. So can you uh, imagine a guy that can't swim and you thrown out in the water and you got to figure out a way to keep from drowning to get back to the bank? <laughs> That's what he done to me, man. We was uh, in Texarkana, Texas, man. I'll never forget it. And the place was packed and it was kind of cold. So I went out and cut the car on and had the heat on. He come out there and said, hey, man, get out. Let me talk to you. I said, man, get in. It's cold out there. He said, get out the car. I said, what is it? He said, you got it tonight. I said, got what? He said, you leave singing. I said, y'all in trouble. <laughs> right <laughs> and he said hey man we ain't got nobody else he said you want to get paid you done drove way down I said come on man and man, he walked up and waved his hand bro I talked to God for about maybe three hours before, <laughs> before we come up man wow. I mean nervous shaking because man people that's out front now see what they go through that's not an easy job mm -mm. you know mm -mm. and mm -hmm. We can sit here and say all the time, I don't care if the people don't get with me. I don't care if they don't like it. Yes, we do. We all want right. to be accepted, you know. Right. We mm -hmm. all want to be accepted. But, mm -hmm. you know, when I done it, I was doing it for God, mm -hmm. you know. And then it just, God just elevated me to calm my nerves and just relax and do what I'm doing for him, you know. Amen. And so, you know, you're going to be talked about, uh, you know, and, and, and you can't let that bother you. You got to just keep doing what you're doing because, you know, a lot of people can uh, very easily help you go to hell. But a lot of them ain't going to try to help you go to hell, you know. <laughs> so they can easily put you in hell. But, you know, a lot of them are not going to – all of them are not going to try to help you go to hell. So I always try to encourage people like, uh, you know, Devin Womack. You know him? Yeah. Yeah. Devin yeah, is the promoter. Always, right. He's always supporting and encouraging a lot of groups, man. And I take my hat out to him. I talked to him last night. He was on Facebook playing music, man. And he supports everybody. And if we all can do that instead of trying to down these groups and everything, man, we like I said, we can pack our places then, you know, help one another. You know, and, and, and in these days and times, the way we're being treated, we ought to definitely want to help someone. But... You know, it's a it's a learning experience, man, you know, to see that you can do more than one thing, you know. So and I just thank God that, you know, my brother chose me, you know, to to, to put me out there and let me drown, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see you. I seen you went back to one of them old schools, one of those songs. 
that Willie used to say back in the day, show me the way. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, the thing about it, I like, you know, where we can do some Kino songs and we we can do our own. Because, you know, I did a lot right. of writing for the group, man, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, uh -huh. I know I'm blessed. One Call, uh, Promised Land, all of those songs, man. God gave me a gift to write those songs, you know. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. So, uh, when you say uh, what uh, what what are the uh, tally boys? Uh, where are you all heading now? What are you trying to accomplish? And are uh, you got any new material coming out? And well, uh, we get ready to do a new one. But Ron, we're, we're getting old, man. We're not getting younger. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing about it is, you know, we're still trying to. You know, just just maintain where what we've been doing and, and serving God. Uh, hey, if I get a, a Grammy, thank God. But, you know, we're just trying to improve and be better and, and, and bless somebody, you know, because like I said, me and my brother was talking the other day, man. Like he said, we're not getting younger, man. Hey, I am picked up weight. Uh, Authorizers is sitting in on us, <laughs> you know, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> them, them, them busy days like we used to do we're not trying to look and travel like we did with Willie for so many years you know mm -hmm. like Monday through Sunday we can't do that anymore man you know right, so right. weekends and everything so if we can accomplish uh, oh. what what we're trying to accomplish and, and do what God want us to do and there's no limit to a blessing because he will constantly bless you no matter how old you get you know he will bless you because uh, Spencer Taylor is a living witness, man. You know, Amen. He's a living Amen. witness, right? To where he studied being blessed at his age right now. You know, Amen, Amen. I tell you, man. Uh, I um, I was talking to a uh, few people about uh, we, we were looking into trying to start a quartet union. I don't know if you heard about it or not, but I have reached out. To some yeah, of the yeah, younger, say that again, Ron. A, a quartet union. Okay, okay, I hear you. Yeah, where where if anything was to pop off again, like a pandemic or emergency, quartetters, uh, the groups have something to pull from. N something that we haven't done. We didn't do that. Uh, but if we can help these young kids that's coming up while we here. That's something I'm trying to do. Uh, we was uh, the Bowers is one of the persons on the committee. Joe Turner for Doc McKenzie, uh, Ricky McDuffie, uh for the McDuffries on the committee. We trying to get more people involved because it's something that never has been done, right? But needs to be done, right? And uh, what what you think of uh, uh, something like that happening? Well, man, that would be wonderful because, like I said, we got to look at that in, in a situation like this. You got to have something you can fall back on, you know. So the thing about it is, is that we respected the people that did this before us, you know. Mm -hmm. And you have to give that respect to the people that, you know, paved the way for them. So mm -hmm. in order to do that, everybody, got, like I said, got to be on the same page that want to do mm -hmm. this we're doing it for the right reason to help you know some of the groups keeps this pandemic hit so it's mm -hmm. all about everybody coming in and pulling together to make mm -hmm. sure that this is there for them you know mm -hmm. because like i said you never know what's going to happen you know mm -hmm. not at all so it's, right. it's a good thing that y'all got you know that you're doing so right. we all need to chime in and and find some ways to help and improve it, you know. Amen. And see, that and that's th that's what we're doing. We're trying to get, we're getting the word out. Um, it may take a year or two to get it up, but we starting somewhere. You know what right. I'm saying? We starting somewhere and getting everybody on one accord. And right. I tell you, man, it's something that is needed. And like I say, we didn't as you know when we was traveling. We didn't have nothing. No, we didn't have no internet. We didn't have none of this stuff. 
They don't own the nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Hey, I used to have yeah. to get rolled the quarters and go to the payphone, man. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Right. I remember that. Yeah, man. Yeah. So it's something uh, that we're working on in the future, and we've been reaching out uh, to people and um, just, you know, letting them know this is something that we want to build. Well, like I said, hey, pull me in. Whatever I can do, you know, I'll be glad to help, man. Be glad Amen. to help. Yeah. Amen. Amen. No. Yeah, I would definitely keep you posted and uh, let you know exactly. Let and, and and those of you who are on here, quartetters, we getting the word out. This is what we doing. This is what we are gonna try to do. Uh, it may take a year or two to build it, but this is something that can be for your kids, uh, my kids, all the quartet lovers, the futures to come, and all the quartets that are here now. Uh, so. It's something that we gonna look into, and we, like I say, we we reaching out to different people. And if you're on here tonight, you tag and share the video, and you all inbox me. You can inbox uh, Ron Bowles, you can inbox Joy T Joseph Turner, uh, Ricky. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, the McDuffie family. You can inbox them and they can give you information on what we are trying to build in the quartet community. So, getting um, uh, finishing up with you, David, I tell you now, I know uh, that uh, the Tally Boys are, are, are really uh, a, a tight unit. And I tell you, you all can, if you, uh, when you say, the groups today just need to come together. Like when it, when you say come together, work together. I mean, right. any time you have people working together as a unit, it, it's a powerful thing. Right, 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 right. And so that's that's the thing about it, man. We 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 can get along with anybody, man. We we don't never think we're bigger than anybody we can sit down laugh and talk to you not arrogant or none of that all oh, like ain't nothing to them or nothing no we're not that way man we like to enjoy our brothers and sisters man and uh because you know you never know who you're gonna need you know you never know that mm -hmm. you're gonna need someone so that's why it's good to be down to earth and we were brought up in the church to you know love and and and, and be friends and family with people man Amen. that's the main thing I don't know if you can see the comps, but I'm going to read a few so you can know who is loving on you tonight. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't I see him. Okay, we got Marvin Earl Jones, one of the drummers from back in the day. Hey, y'all, hey, Mr. Marvin. David. Uh, <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse the camera, y'all. I tell you, it's acting up. Anthony Palmer. Yes, sir. Those was the days. Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fev, uh, Alan said, "Hey, Uncle Ron and Uncle David, Tally, the man." Who is that, Alan? Uh, yeah, Fabian Allen. He oh, okay. Said, hey, uh, he said, "Hey, Uncle Ron and uh, Uncle David, Tally, the man with the sweetest ending on songs of on them scares." <laughs> 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 Just made, man, they're trying to make me feel good, man. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, Ron, I tell you, uh -huh. I, I tell you, the, the, I had one of the most fun times with the keynotes, with the original, when I with the original, when me and Ricky, we uh both played together on stage in Charlotte. Uh, I had two sets of drums then, you know, uh, I had a Tama and a Pearl. And he said, uh -huh. hey, man, can I play with you? I said, hey, if you get the second set out, you set them up and bring them down. And, man, that was the most fun I had that night in Charlotte. And then I come back. I don't know. Do you do you remember Red Stucky? Uh, no, no. He was the albino drummer for the Kinos. Had the red hair. The, you ever seen those album covers with him on there? I've I seen the covers. I, yeah, I can't I can yeah. remember now. And, man, we played together. Now, you're talking about another solid drummer? Woo. Mm -hmm. We set up at Charlotte Park Center together, man. I, I think he done passed away now, but man, mm -hmm. you know, he was a solid drummer also, man. I mean, we had the most fun I, when I done that with those guys. We set up two drummers that night. 
at the Park Center. And man, you talking about enjoyable. Me and Rick, man, we had a time. I mean, that, that was one of the most memorable moments that I've had. You know, that had that, that had that had to be exciting. Uh, that's something James Brown to do. That's something James Brown to do. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, man, the stage was loaded, man. It was loaded mm -hmm. with musicians wanting to see how it was going to be done. So, you mm -hmm. know, like if I'm playing the jive, he playing the drive, and we'll swap it. I'll tell him play the, the jive, and i play the drive. You know, just hold that straight pocket, and he do whatever he want to. But, man, we did. Jesus has been good to me. Well, Willie wow. said he hated to end it that night, man. So he hated to cut it off. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was wow. Man. But I uh, tell you, man. <clears throat> on that, but, uh, I tell no. you, man, when 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 you yeah, that's what I'm saying. That had to be one of the excitingest nights. Uh I wish I would have saw that. Oh uh, uh, yeah, man. It was it was awesome. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. So, but you know, it was more it was even awesome when my brother and them came, man, and we did Country Boy Goes Home. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that thing was selling like hotcakes, man. Yeah, I mean, I know. Bugle, wow, man, we couldn't keep that CD. I mean, mm -hmm. it was that thing was selling like crazy. We had fun rehearsing and doing that project, man. We enjoyed ourselves, mm -hmm. really did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I but, tell uh, you, if you know, if you had to pick, if you, I'm gonna just uh, pick your brain here. If you had to uh, pick. Five songs. The top five gospel songs ever. Give me five songs. Just your opinion. Somebody on the keynote? No, no. On everybody. Woo! Man. Well, Jesus be good to me is going to be one of them. I'll put that in there. Exactly. Uh... Closer with Tommy Ellison. I'll put that in there. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. Dr. Jesus with uh, Swannies. All right. All right. That's three. Uh, let me see. You need two more, right? I'll help you. Rough side of the mountain. Yes, that that's 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 in there. Good God about it, man. I remember those days. One more. Who, who would you pick for the fifth one? I came to Jesus, Mighty Clouds of Joy. Okay. I was gonna or, uh I was gonna put Fix It Jesus by the, the Cat Fix. Amen. Amen. I take that. <laughs> I take that. I take that one. I take that. One. But yeah, so we just have it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go with six. But you yeah. know, those are the top songs that you know was gonna move people. You know, closer and uh, sailing and all that. I'm gonna tell you something about um uh sailing. Mm -hmm. You might not remember this. We was in Florida. <laughs> uh -huh. I think we was in. Jacksonville, Tampa, or somewhere. We was in Florida. That's where mm -hmm. my last night with the Kino. Mm -hmm. I was walking to the stage. <laughs> and Tommy said, come here, brother. <laughs> Do you remember that? We he were sailing. He me sail. <laughs> yeah, we were fun. Yeah. <laughs> you don't remember that, do you? Uh, get, I remember. I remember. Yeah, He'll get you. To see him, man. <laughs> <laughs> he said, hey, brother, he said, when the Holy Ghost hit you, what it make you want to do? I said, this joke done got me out of here, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, he would get you. Hey, I didn't know he was talking to me. I kept walking. He said, no, <laughs> you. Come here, brother. I said, me? I said, oh, Lord, what is Tommy going to do, man? Yeah, man, out there, man, there's a sailing, man. I just, I said, this character, man, I tell you, you know, out there, man, you never know what was going to happen. But we right, all, like man. I said, we in them days, man, we all enjoyed one another, bro. You know, yeah. we had fun. And I mean, with Slim, Willie Banks, Tommy, mm -hmm. you know, all those guys, man, you, 
you're going to have some fun with them because Amen. no matter how legend they was, they still respect you also. That's what Amen. I love about those cats, man. Amen. They respect Amen. you also. They respect mm -hmm. what you do and all that. Even though they're legends, they still respect you, mm -hmm. man. And that's what I loved about them. Amen. You know, Tommy mm -hmm. and all of them, man, I used to go in the dressing room and crack jokes, make him, you know, just get on him. I say, hey, man, I said, Ron, Big old Sam, Dennis, all of y'all. Y'all was awesome. I said, but that, I don't know, talking about Tommy, see, see, you know, you know, we're joking, man. But, you know, those were the good old days, man. We don't have that now. You know, some of the young know. groups are, you know, they, they, they're not like that. You know, those mm -hmm. were the days, man. You know. Hey, man, that was one of the best times in those locker rooms. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could yeah. sing every weekend, and nobody would get tired of each other in the in the package, you know. Right. Sometimes right. they ain't in it, be holler. Well, why, why Tommy and them ain't on this, you know? <laughs> so mm -hmm. that's how. It, well, mm -hmm. they had to go do another gig, but they'd be back next weekend, you know. So mm -hmm. that's that's how it was, man. We all had that bondage, man. That we was together, you know. Mm -hmm. No jealousy or nothing like that. Not talking about one another, man. And right. if somebody missing, they'll fall right in and help. That's what Amen. I love about it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But I told you, you missed one night, man. And I said, well, you didn't miss. You got there late. I said, Lord Jesus, late. where is Ron at, man? <laughs> I don't know, man. And all of a sudden, I saw you, man. I said, boy, I almost hugged you and kissed you, man. I said, told you what we to play. I can't do it. Man, I'm so excited to see you, man. It was just unreal. <laughs> I said, man. Yeah. It, he said, oh, brother, you'll be all right. I said, no, nah, man. <laughs> Boy, when you showed up, I think you were running late or something, man. Yeah, I was running late. I had had, had car issues. But well, boy, I was glad to see you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, man, yeah. you know, yeah. like I said, you think some other people's jobs are so easy, but it's not, man. You know, everybody crafts. It, it goes with whatever group you're with, man. Right. Right, right. Yeah, but I tell you, man. I tell you, man. It's been, it's been a pleasure tonight again. Yes, sir. I tell you, man. We was a. I'm glad I was able to get you back on. Uh, we are, uh, we are just looking to do some more things in the future, and we're gonna keep. Oh yes, man. Keep you, keep you posted, man. And uh, you know the Tyler boys, y'all keep it doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing yeah. what you're doing. Well, yeah, and let's keep playing for, for each other, man. You know, the drummers mm -hmm. that we have lost, let's pray yeah. for their family and everything, man. You know, like Maurice, Brian Williams, and all of those people like that, man. You know, um, yeah. Steve McAfee, you know, uh, uh, what's the name we just buried um, not too long in Rocky Mountain? Uh, yeah, uh, my man, yeah. um, uh, uh, Luther Barnes, drummer. Yeah, yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. Let's, let's just keep those guys in our prayers and everything and, and pray for the Donald. group that's out there right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Ron, like I said, once again, man, I appreciate you. I love you. Whatever you're doing, and keep it up. If you need mm -hmm. me, you know how to inbox me or whatever. Uh, you got my number and all. Just just let me know whatever way I can help in any kind of way, man. I really mean that. I know you do. I know you do. And uh, we will be doing that, man. And, um, you keep well, you know, tell, you know, let your family know we love them. Um, and uh, let the brothers know that we love them. And uh, you keep up the good work. I'm going to be here, man, each week, man. Y'all continue to tune in. Drummer Talk Pocket Power is here to stay, I tell you. And we're going to keep on bringing on stories after stories after stories. And I tell you, uh, as we get ready to, you know, depart this interview, we just want to let y'all know to keep supporting the quartet industry. Yeah. Keep supporting them. We have young groups coming up, and we also got legends coming up. If you have it, and I'm going to let, uh, David, don't go nowhere. Let me let Fuzzy tell us for the people, okay? Yo, I'm Lynn Fuzzy Taylor, and I come to let you guys know that I'm rolling with my main man, Ron Cunningham, Mr. Drummer Talk. Hey, I got something I want to share with you guys also. Hey, the Highway QC's, the Godfather, Mr. Spencer Taylor himself, has a new, new book. And it's on Amazon. It's 20 bucks. We spend $20 on anything. Junk, 
So I'm asking all you guys to support Mr. Spencer Taylor's book. It's on Amazon. You can purchase it. We need to get the numbers up. It's number two on Amazon. So let's go to number one, which you guys support. Again, I'm Lynn Fuzzy Taylor. It was a pleasure being on your show, Ron. Hey, keep doing what you're doing. I love you. And hey, Drummer Talk is the show. Peace. On that note, it's past number one now. And if you haven't got it, if you haven't got uh, Gentleman Becoming Legends, uh, Spencer Taylor, I tell you, he's an icon, he's a legend, and he's still with us. And if you haven't got his book, please go on Amazon and get it. You would not be disappointed. I tell you, some good stuff in here, and I enjoyed it. Uh, and we just wanted to just let you know about it, I tell you. And this is something, this is history. This is history. And uh, I know you, I, I know you uh, know that history, David. I tell you, that yeah. man been, this man been on the road for a long time. Yes, he has, man. And a great guy, man. Down to earth. You sit down and learn something from him. I mean, he's the same every time you see him. And, Ron, before we go, my sister, Claudia, Claudia White, you can go to her page. She got something coming up for the, the young artist that's trying to make it. It's mm -hmm. called Quartet Unstoppable. It'll be June 11th. <laughs> You can go to her play page, Claudia White, uh, group mm -hmm. desk, um, trying to get started in the industry. It's $75 registration fee, and mm -hmm. uh, they're picking a winner that will get a, a single. A, a single mm -hmm. will be re released on them by Ray Braswell. It's called Quartet okay. Unstoppable, and it's at okay. Claudia White on Facebook. So if any groups, young artists that want to, Sign up and, and, and be on there. It's hosted by Bobby Jones uh, and some other groups on there. We're on it and everything. So it's called Quartet Unstoppable. So if they want to go to that on the Claudia White on Facebook and sign up for that and see about trying to get a single done on. Appreciate it, Ron. Amen. Amen. I think I saw somebody. Uh, I think I saw a promo on that. With yeah, brother. Uh, brother. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to share that. I'm going to start sharing that. And uh, okay. so, so the uh, quartets can get uh, the information and get on that. Uh, right. That's something great. That's something great. That is something great. All right, right my brother. We would definitely right, be putting. We would be putting that out. And uh, you uh, continue to to stay blessed and your family. We gonna get up on out of here. You too, and, brother. Uh, all right, man. You are hanging there, man. God bless you. Right. You too. Okay, Dave. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got coming up on to uh, next week. We Music production. Hanging out with my main man, Ron Cunningham. What's up, man? Look, this is where he's featuring all the greatest musicians of all time. You need to be tuned in to this station. This is where you need to be at.